morning! As you can see, beautiful day outside. We are going to head in the car now and drive over to Abel Tasman National Park, which we thought was a bit further away, but it's not, eh? It's about an hour, about an hour drive, um, sort of north west, I guess you'd say. Yeah, I think there's beaches there and a massive national park area. We've seen some pictures online and it looks quite picturesque. So we're pretty keen to go see that now. Uh, may stop and get food on the way. We'll see what we come across and yeah. So let's get to it. Let's enjoy the day. It is hot. We just got in a fairly decent walk around the Abel Tasman National Park. I don't know how far of a walk, it would have been a couple of k's at least. As you can probably tell, it's still really sunny. It's quite warm. There was a cool breeze, but just being in the sun made it pretty hot. We've done that now. Um, we're gonna go stop at, I believe it's Kateri Terry Beach which is a few k's away. We drove past that on the way to the Abel Tasman National Park and we thought the beach looked awesome. It was really packed there. So it may be even busier now because it's sort of around lunchtime. So we'll go have a look and see what it's like down there and hopefully get some more shots. It is really windy, so I was making it hard to get the drone up and in the air, but I did get some cool shots, uh, but we'll see. we'll see how we go down at the beach. As you can see, that's beautiful Kaiteri Terry Beach. I believe that's pronunciation. I could be incorrect. Gorgeous location, super nice day, really sunny. Um, not as many people out as there were earlier, but still busy. Yeah, just people out enjoying the day. So let's get to doing something else, I guess. Hello, we're back at the room. Still a beautiful day. Like I said earlier, had an awesome walk around the Abel Tasman National Park. Uh, stopped on the way back after we stopped at the beach and we got a, I got a real fruit ice cream, just got a smoothie, stopped at a cool little small spot there um, and then just came all the way back. So we've been out quite a few hours now. So it's still, it's only the afternoon now. Come back, probably chill for a couple of hours and then we'll decide what we want to do tonight i'm thinking i want to go somewhere have a couple of beers have a feed just not sure where we want to go just yet we've got a couple of ideas yeah because after eating dinner in the room last night i want to go to i want to go somewhere else and eat out considering so last night i want to get in a few drinks eat somewhere nice so check back with you later Welcome back! As you can see, once again, we are in our room. We just went out and had dinner at a place called The Vic. It was a cool spot, but they kind of messed up on Jess's dinner. Um, I had buffalo style chicken nibbles, which were really good, and I had a side of fries. And Jess got their half chicken fried chicken, but they just over seasoned it. It was just too salty or too seasoned. And basically it was inedible. 
She really didn't enjoy it. So I felt bad because I picked the place. But I got to have a couple of beers, which I wanted, and I enjoyed my food. So, sucks to be you. <laughs> nah, yeah, so it was a bit disappointing. Cool spot. If they had have nailed the fried chicken, it would have been awesome. But them's the breaks. And so I guess that makes it our most disappointing meal we've had on our road trip adventures so far. So that's a bit of a sad note because it's our last night on holiday, our last night away before we go home tomorrow. So we're going to try and make up for it by having a nice cooked breakfast in the morning, try and track down a nice cooked breakfast. Because since we've been here, we did have a breakfast in Blenheim. But other than that, we really haven't been eating in the morning. We've sort of been having like a late lunch or a bit of a snack and then going out for dinner. So today we didn't really eat much. We stopped at a bakery and just had a snack in the morning. And other than the ice cream, it's all we've really had all day. So we're kind of keen for the dinner. And wah wah. Visually it looked good. It just didn't taste good. So. Boo. Boo. Fix Boo. the recipe, the Vic. Yeah. Jess was going to punch on. She was out there. I had to hold her back. I had to restrain her. She was throwing lefts and rights at the staff. It got really ugly. Bloody Winham girl. I didn't fart. <laughs> that stinks. She's blaming me for her stinky farts. Can you hurry up and finish it? No, this is going in the video. No, I hope you know this. Gross. When you watch it and you'll be like, oh, he put that in there. Gross. Okay, so that does it for tonight. I don't think we're going to do anything. We'll try and find a movie or something. Who knows? Anyway, that does it for today. Day five in the books. And we'll catch up with you in the morning when we have to check out and... Hop on a plane and head home. So that will be a nice fun journey. Next time you see us, it will be the morning. Morning team. It is day six. We are getting ready to check out, doing all the fun stuff like packing our bags and getting ready to check out. There's a couple of hours between checkout and when we've got to be at the airport. So luckily we still have the hire car. Probably go get ourselves a breakfast and uh, maybe have a little drive before we head back to the car rental place drop off the car and then they'll shuttle us to the airport i don't know if i filmed i don't think i filmed inside the nelson airport but it is tiny it is like probably two times the size of this room that's probably an exaggeration but it is really small so it's not like there'll be anything to do at the airport so our flight's at one we've got to be there by 12. so let's go check out return the car all the fun stuff. So yeah, this trip has been really awesome. I actually think I've preferred this trip that we've done more than our last one. Uh, Blenheim was really cool. It helped that we stayed in a really awesome room. This room is also really nice, so... I don't know if we had as much choice for food here. Maybe just not food that really resonates with us as much. But still really good, really beautiful place. Uh, heaps of historic stuff to see. It'd probably be cool to spend a bit more time in Nelson and be able to explore a bit more. I mean, we're not really the best when it comes to researching. We do everything on the fly. But there's definitely plenty to do. Um, we filled our time, but we could have done more. The National Park Walk was probably the highlight of it. That was really awesome, but definitely would like to go and see more of that sometime in the future. Weather's been up and down. We've had some rain and we've had some cloudy days. But then we've had a couple of really gorgeous days as well, so can't complain about that. I mean, if it rained the whole time, that would have been a real bummer, but we've still got some really nice day, which, which has been good. Especially the day when we went out for our walk to the, to the park yesterday. That was awesome. I was glad that the weather was good for that. Overall, definitely check out Blenheim and Nelson if you are in New Zealand at any point, or even if you live here currently and you haven't been. The South Island's got some awesome spots, otherwise I really enjoyed Queenstown and Dunedin when we went there, but that was about four years ago, I think. So yeah, that does it for this morning. We have stuff to go and do, so let's get to it.
just had an awesome breakfast at the Columbia Coffee House. Just a big breakfast, good way to start the day since we probably won't have lunch and we don't know what time I'm gonna get home to have dinner. So that was really nice. Then we walked down to the Nelson Sunday Markets. Apparently they run markets on Saturday and Sunday. The Saturday one is more of a farmer's market or a craft's market and the Sunday market is a typical flea market. It wasn't very big, but it was nice to just have a look around and saw a couple of cool little things, but nothing I would have wanted to purchase to take home. So that was fun. So we're talking about going to a park or something like that now, just to eat up a bit of time, see something a bit different before we head off and drop off the car. Here we are at the Nelson Queens Gardens, which is awesome. Let's check it out. Well, that was pretty awesome. Uh, we just went to the Queens Gardens. Not a very big park. Um, but it's sort of located right near the city centre. And it was just really nice, really well maintained. A lot of birds there, a lot of friendly birds, because they obviously get fed a lot. Real family sort of place. There was a lot of people there with kids and stuff. And yeah, it's just a really cool spot to visit. We we're only there a couple of minutes, but it was, it was really nice. Definitely worth checking out. just waiting at the Nelson Airport, ready to go home. Fun. <laughs> so after we disembark from the flight, we've got to go grab our baggage, which hopefully doesn't take too long to pick up because there actually wasn't all that much that we saw get put on the plane. And then we're gonna catch a shuttle over to the long-term parking and pick up our car before we can drive home, which is about an hour and a half drive. So that's not too bad. We should be home sort of mid-afternoon, really. So yeah, pretty easy day, really, for a day of travel anyway. So we're back now in our car. Hello car. And as you can tell, weather isn't as great as what we left in Nelson. It was really warm and sunny. Here it's overcast and windy. It's not really cold, but it is a bit cooler. It's definitely cooler than Nelson. 15 degrees. 15 degrees. So yeah, we haven't done long-term parking before, so we think we just swiped the card they gave us on the way out. So hopefully that's right. And then we'll begin our drive home. Let's do it. How is everybody? You all good? How are all the girls today? And little boys? You're not after lettuce? You're all after bread. You don't care about lettuce. You're like, give us bread. Come on, buddy. There you go. Eat some bread. Nom, 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 nom. There you go, mummy. There you go, little one. That's it. We're all out of bread. You can jump up on me. You're all smelling me. I don't have any. I'm out of bread. There's no bread. That is not bread. So clearly we've just got home. The sheep are obviously hungry. Hungry for bread anyway. So um, yeah, they've had a feed. They're obviously all happy. They probably haven't much, had much bread since we've been gone for six days. So all the girls look well, so that's good. So yeah, 
good trip home, glad to be home. The weather's still kind of dull here, so that's kind of a bummer, but all in all, really good trip, glad to be here, and yeah, thanks for watching.